So we're going to uh, see how to create um, a report which asks the user for a, for a value with which to filter. Um, we did that previously on a query. We're going to do it on a report now. There's various ways and we're going to see an easy way. Um, the method is the same as the other one. So we, we, we have a query here which displays some data. Uh, one of them is the gender. We're going to base it on that one. We're going to use that field. So we go to the design view like we did previously and create a prompt here, which is please enter gender. Okay. So we can save this. And as we did previously, this will ask the user for the gender. Um, let's close this. We have to select the query and create a report based on, based on that query. It will ask for the value. Don't worry. Enter any value you want. And that creates the, the report. I'm going to move it around a bit so that we can see the gender value. Let's say, um, let's move it here, 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 up, and here. And very quickly, obviously, this should be done slowly. That's it. So, we have our value there. We uh, The next thing is that we have to save this report with a name because we will reference it afterwards. So I'll call it report one. Let's go into the design view, expand our header, and insert a text field there in the header, or whatever you want, obviously. And we have to use this code. Um, we have to call the reports. So this basically says we're going to use a report. The name of the report, which in our case is report one, although we could have called it anything. And the name of the field we created, the prompt field we created before, which is please enter gender. If I have not made a mistake, when I close the report it and open it back again, it will prompt for the gender masculine and it will display only values of the you see I can have it here and the gender is masculine let's try it again with a feminine value and you see feminine and you have the feminine there so 10 values here all of them are feminine so that's an easy way to create a report which will ask the user for a value. You can create obviously this with and or ors and make it more complicated, but this is an easy way.